What's up, superheroes? Superman Apple Hunter here. Today is Tuesday, February 13, 2018. This is day 433, and I am back. Sort of. Um, <clears throat> I can just say, um, the reason why I have been doing such short videos lately is because, you know, for the past few weeks now, I have been feeling a little bit out of sorts. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is, but I've just been feeling really out of sorts lately. But, you know, here I am. Smile on my face. My hair's growing back in. My beard's growing back in. I'm wearing my glasses more. Um, I'm happier. I'm in an extremely good mood today. Um, I, was a, I, I was a little out of sorts earlier today. And I was a little up. I, um, something happened in school. And it made me a little upset. But you know what? That's all in the past. I'm going to forget about it. I'm here today. I'm in a good mood. I'm extremely happy. I haven't felt this happy in the, a few days, so it feels good to be in a good mood. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I'm going to put in the option right now. Um, if you don't have a Valentine, and you want to say that Superman out of 100 is your Valentine, if you want to say that, you know... Feel free, you can post in the comments and do whatever you want. If you want to say that I'm your Valentine, please do. You know, uh, my girlfriend is without a doubt mine. So, but if you want to say that I'm your Valentine, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Uh, my girlfriend is actually coming over tomorrow. And as you can see, my room is a little bit of a mess. So, um, let's fix that, you know. First things first. Take out all the stuff that I that I know is gonna be going into the trash. And he, the M, this cup, this, 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 that, this, this, and this. This. This.
what stops? Oh, what the hell? And I got a new episode of Bizarre Mark coming out on the 20th, on February 23rd. Well, uh, February 23rd for the U.S. Um, I don't know if it's the same airtime in, like, any of the other states, but they have a new one coming out. Where their crazy biggest fan, um, Melissa, comes back. And for those of you who didn't see the last episode of Bizarre Bark that had Melissa in it, she got arrested. And spoiler alert, this episode is basically about her escaping. She escapes. From her confinements. Right. Still got a little bit more cleaning up to do. I'll do that in a second. I got some stuff. I would like to show you all pics, pictures. So we'll start with this. This is 13 year old me in eighth grade in September of 2012. Look at that fetus, that fetus face. It's fucking embarrassing as shit. This is Chuck E. Cheese. Basically, I don't know if this ride is still here, but there used to be this ride at Chuck E. Cheese where it was like this thing with Chuck E. And it had like a whole bunch of buttons and it actually it took your picture. Yeah, it actually took your picture. And you can see in the picture, that's me right there. But look at my face. I look extremely pissed in that picture because it's just like... I, I wasn't really too sure if I was angry. I think I was looking down at all the buttons, really. And standing off to the side right there, that's my dad. That's my, my dad standing off to the side right there. I don't even know how old I was there. I'm not in this picture, but this is in uh, my a AV series school in first grade from when I turned seven. I'm not in this picture either, but this is a pool. This is my sister, my cousin, my dad, and my aunt. I'm not in that picture. I'm actually, I am actually in this picture. There's, there's me right there. I think I, this was for my seventh birthday. 
and you can see how hesitant I look about getting that uh, birthday hat on. For some reason, I never liked putting those birthday hats on because they always had that strap, and I always felt like it was going to snap off and hit me in the face, so I was actually scared of those hats. That's just me sleeping, and you see my mom there. This is me with a toothbrush. I think they were just like teaching me how to brush my teeth. That's my mama. That's my mama, who I love very, very much. She actually looks the same now, except her hair is a lot less um, dark. And then that's me right there. And my God, look at all that hair. This is a uh, fetus, thirteen-year-old Adam. This is a the bit. This is a bigger picture. This is Halloween of 2007. I was a crazy scientist. And it's me hugging a tree. <laughs> Here's another one. And you can see in this, in the one I showed, my hair was long. And in this one, my hair is short. And this is the this is because they actually my mom and dad actually got my hair cut when I was like a year old and I got it cut really short. So this is me in my crib. And you can see like the face of evil, like I'm about to climb the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, if you want to see exactly how much hair I had, you look at this picture. This is my sister Jessie. You can't see her in the picture, but that's her hand giving me a bath. And basically, the way I can explain this is I used to cry. According to my mom, I used to cry all day and all night. And I never stopped. I used to just scream and cry all night. And according to her, the only way they would get me to calm down is by bathing me. And putting me in the water so that my sister gave me a bath. If you look at my face, I got that look on my face like, you better get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Give me a second. Don't look into the light. Whatever you do, don't look into the light. Don't look into the light. Okay, that was really stupid. I know. There it is again. 13 year old fetus. One, two, three, four. Yeah, well, I'm gonna save that picture for last. This is. One of my birthday parties, there's my mom, there's my dad, there's me, and there's my brother. My brother was about 10 in this picture. There's me and my sister, there she is right there, and then there's me. There it is, Halloween 2007, crazy scientist. This is almost 10 years, no, almost 11 years ago now. I'm like 10 and a half years ago. There's me. I had just started to grow. I don't know how old I was here. I might have been like maybe three or so. This was the cake for the birthday that I had in school. The other picture that I showed earlier, seventh birthday. One of the sisters and one of the one of the sisters that my cake made. No, one of the cakes that my sister made. That's what I used. That's what I meant to say. This is church. There's my mom. She's probably getting a piss and be showing us. There's my mom. There's my dad. And then there's me. And I won't say the background. There's the cake again. Seventh birthday. There's me and my brother James. He's not actually my brother, but I consider him my brother. He lived with us for like a really long time. He's a really nice guy. I don't know why this picture is ripped, but there's me. I think that's my sister's foot right there. I'll save that for the last. So for this one, you see my sister Caroline sitting there. It's me and my sister. And they'll be alarmed by that skinny shadow in the background. That's my Uncle Frankie. And he's still, that's, he's still as skinny as he was in that picture. There's me and my sister. If I had to guess, I don't think I would really know how old I was here. Maybe about maybe three or four years old here.
<laughs> in the background of this is my mom and her leg up on the heater. There's my cousin and there's me. This is when I turned three. There's another one. <laughs> me and my sister. She was always up my ass, basically, when I was a baby. But that's me and her. There's that. There's me and my mom's friend, Jimmy. My sister hates this picture, but you see me. I'll save that for last. You see me there on the floor, and then you see her walking in. And she was actually taking, no, she was actually cleaning the house in this picture. Um, I think it was my mom that took this picture, or someone that took the picture, like, right as she was walking in. I just gotta say, what are those? <laughs> and you can see just... You can tell it's like really early in the morning because you just look at her hair and her hair is all messed up and her, she's just, <laughs> and she looks the same too. She hasn't changed a bit. Her face is still the same. And this isn't me. You can see right there is this girl, but this is my oldest niece when she was a baby. This is when she was born. Save these two for last. My dad doesn't watch my videos, so I can say whatever I want. This is my deadbeat sperm donor. This is my dad. This is when he was 16. He was like about maybe 16 here. And it's like a... There's like a problem with this picture. You can see it. You can also see it through on the background. The way you see it is the way it looks. If I flip it this way, you can see the reverse like this. This is how it looks in real life. Like, I think my dad, it's kind of like Jackie Chan in this picture, but he was about 16 there. And it's time for me to leak my nudes. This is baby bottom, baby booty. If you don't like that, just look past it. But all those red dots, I had chicken pox. And according to my mom, she didn't sleep for four nights because of this. <laughs> the funniest story with this is my dad had, like, came home from work. And my mom was like, please, <clears throat> I'm begging you, please just take him so I can sleep. My dad was like, fine. So my mom went and fell asleep on the couch and my dad was in the room with me. And a few hours later, he came into the living room and woke her up and he was like, I don't know how the fuck you do it. He won't stop crying. He won't go to sleep. He won't do anything. My dad was so pissed. But, I mean, come on. Can you blame me? Just look at that. I had severe chicken pox. And I was crying. And I was puking and pooping everywhere. Of course. And then I would scratch it. I would. They would itch. And then I would scratch them. I would scratch them, and they would burn. They would burn, and I would cry. That's how it worked. Okay, so uh, now it's time for me to get back to... Gotta get back to cleaning. That's like always the most satisfying thing to do with water bottles. I have no idea why. Get back to work.
cleansing in my room. More trash. Never fails. That's what my entire room is. Just a big trash heap. Just a big pile of trash. here. What the fuck? Oh my god. God, I'm just a nasty motherfucker, man. It's disgusting. I'm not sure you to get This is too long. I'm sorry, guys, but my girlfriend's coming tomorrow, so I want to make sure my room looks good. No lady wants to see a messy room, you know?
you know what? I learned how to do the cup song. In the uh, pit I learned how to do the pitch perfect cup song. I'm really quickly gonna show you guys. Way better. I think it's way better out here. I don't know what it is, but way better. Shut up, Lance. I'm really quickly gonna show you guys how to do the pitch perfect cup song. So let's, you gotta get your cup. Let me put it out a little bit more so you can. Unless I can move. Oh! oh. My phone almost fell. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I uh, looked up a tutorial a few days ago on how to actually do this properly. And this is the way the lady said. So you're going to you're gonna clap twice. Clap. Clap. Okay, basically, here's how it looks. Here's how it goes. Hold on. I feel like I should do this on my stool. Okay, keep. It's really working out well. I'm so well right now, guys. But all right. got my stool right here. I'll put the cup here. Right. Yes, I still have bean boozled. <laughs> So now I'm thinking, there we go, there's a nice setup, alright, so here's how, here's how it looks, here's how the cup song looks, in its entirety. It goes like that. Here's how it, here's the tutorial here. Here's how this cup song actually works. You're gonna go, you gotta clap twice. Clap, clap. Basically, the way it works is, the first part of it is clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. So basically, you clap twice, clap, clap. Then you do table in the syllables of table. Table, table. Then you clap again. You lift the cup up and you put it back down. So that's the first part. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Now the second part is clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. So you clap, you sweep the cup like this, you touch this part of the cup with your hand like this, you put the cup down. Then you lift it back up like this. You grab the bottom of the of, you grab the bottom of the cup. You put your hand down and then you put the cup down. So it's clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down, clap, sweep, top, bottom, right, hand, down. And once you got that, you can go a little faster. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Clap, sweep, top, bottom, hand, down, what? I didn't do that right. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand, down. Clap, clap, table, table, clap, up, down. Clap, sweep, top, table, bottom, hand down. And once you got that down pat, you can actually do it now without the names of the movements.
How it works. Okay. Now I gotta go clean this cup. And get to join me, my friends. Let's go. Let me ditch it in here. It's a little easier. Why don't you do the rest of these dishes that are in here? Cleaning dishes. Yep. Okay.
You're welcome. Give me a second. Okay, so one last thing to end this vlog for you. Um, I don't claim to be a master drawer. I don't claim to be good at drawing. I'm really not. Basically, all I know how to draw are stick figures and shit. But basically, what I like to do is I like to find really good logos. And I like to put them up to find a picture of them on my computer screen. And then I like to press a piece of paper against the, the computer screen and trace them through the computer screen. So there, here's one that I did, the Angry Grandpa, and then I just put a rest in peace, 10, 16, 19, 50, 2, 12, 10, 20, 17. And in the bottom I wrote, I love you. Then this is another one I wrote, I, this is another one I did. Where I just wrote one that said the Angry Grandpa show on top. I put 2007. The bottom I put 2017. I drew out my channel art logo. Superman out of 100. Then. Freddy vs. Jason. The Freddy vs. Jason logo. And then Friday, Friday the 13th logo. I have one. I have one of the freaking uh, Nightmare on Elm Street logo. I don't know where I put it. Okay. So, pack my speaker up. Put this here. Put these here. Put these here. By the way. Giving up clutch. Takashi six nine is playing. Is playing at the uh, Starland Ballroom. On Saturday, April twenty eighth. 2018, that's in two months. But he's playing on April 28th, and he is performing his hit singles Gumo, Pulse 4, 1469, Kuda, and more. And the special guest is CQ, DJs, and support artist. And that is at 570 Journey Mill Road in Sayreville, New Jersey. The door is open at 7. It's all ages to enter, 21 and up to drink. The doors open at 7, at 7 p.m. The group rate, for more group rates and info, you call the number 
7089. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. <clears throat> um, pretty long vlog, don't you think so? Um, feels good to have done a long vlog, especially anywhere in like the range of like 40 minutes over. Like over 40 minutes, I haven't done like a a vlog over 40 minutes in a while. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like to subscribe, please do. If you don't want to, of course you don't have to. I apologize if this vlog was just really boring. Um, a lot of it was just me cleaning up my room and making it nice and clean because my girlfriend's coming over tomorrow and no girl wants to see a messy room. So, I had to clean it up all nice and good and make sure it looks good because I don't want her to come to come over to a messy room, you know? And I'll, I'll, I'll end the vlog off. I know I said I was going to First, I said I was going to end the vlog off with um, those logos and shit. I'm going to end the vlog off with this. I made my own Angry Grandpa t-shirt. Um, for those of you who don't know, they um, Broadband TV, I think it is. Broad, yeah, Broadband TV, BBTV. Uh, the, uh, the store that now sells all of the Angry Grandpa merch, like the shirts and the hats and stuff. They made a memorial, Angry Grandpa memorial t-shirt for him on um, passing. I love you, Grandpa. Um, it was a picture, of, it was his face. It was his face right in the middle. It had the Angry Grandpa logo very uh, tiny on the bottom. And on the top it said, Gone But Not Forgotten. And at the time that it had been released, I had a $50 gift card that I got from my sister. Unfortunately... For some reason, the website wouldn't let me use my gift card to buy the shirt. So, what I did, you can see the logo right there, uh, the custom ink logo. I went to custom ink, and I luckily I had a picture of the Angry Grandpa logo on my computer. So, I put the Angry Grandpa logo right there in the middle. And the top says his birthday, 10-16-1950. And the bottom says his, his, uh, his, the day of his passing, 12-10-2017. Um, I love each and every single one of you. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.